All right, hey guys, welcome back. So today I have something a little bit different. Uh, we're gonna be unboxing something I've been wanting for a long time. It's common as all heck, but it looks really cool. So we're gonna unbox it on camera. I also have my good friend, William from Go Off Restraints over here. Hi guys. And he's just gonna join us for the first time. We're gonna be opening this Tyco freight unloading box car. So this one's ex <laughs> exactly like that one. Uh, this one's special because it still has the original wrap on it. I haven't seen one with the original wrap on it, but if you are a collector and you have a problem with me taking off the wrap, I'm really sorry, but that's not really my problem. These were meant to be used, so that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. So without any further ado, let's take our knife, let's not stab myself, and... Oh yeah, just while he's doing that, this is the one that I ended up getting. Mine's already out of the wrapping. It's a very early version, as you can tell by the blue press to open button. Here, put that back on camera. All right. There you go. Ah! He's already started peeling the plastic off. How does that feel? Is that satisfying? That is very satisfying. 1970s plastic wrap. Oh, wow. It's tough, isn't it? That is... It's... I'm not sure. I don't think plastic works. Like, it gets harder over time, but... Alright. We're getting somewhere. There we go. Jeez, that is just in pristine shape. I know the camera's not really picking it up, but the way the light reflects off of it... Yeah. There are no creases in it, except, like, a little bit on the edges from storage. That's true. Alright, well... Let's get her open. Should just lift. Yeah. Oh, and there we go, ladies and gentlemen. So, as Will was saying earlier, uh, this is a later run, and you can see that... Whoa, that button is... I've never seen a bright green <laughs> one like that. That's interesting. That's different. Wow. These are two are different... Are they usually black? Yeah, I, I'm not sure. Maybe you should ask... Well, yeah, they should be usually ask black. Mr. Heckler. On the box, they're black. In person, this one looks like it's That a, is like uh, emerald green. Yeah, well... Alright, let's get it out. Yeah, the more you know, I guess. The, the next thing you know, you just found out that you unboxed the rarest of the rare Tyco <laughs> unloading box cars. I hope that's not the case, then I'll feel bad to use it. Alright. Well, at least it's getting used. That's keep true. It in clean shape. Alright, so first we have our instruction manual. There you go. If you want to stop and read that, you can pause the video. You'll probably find these all over. So, we're going to take a look about how to set this up later. For now, we'll just get it out of the box. So, right here we have our piece of operating accessory track. Is that brass or is that nickel silver? That's, That's brass. brass, yep. And we have our little catching tray right here. And Along with the boxes. Yeah, that's Ooh. surprising. This is definitely a brand new set. Like the tape's <laughs> un the tape was unbroken until just a moment ago. Yeah. I'll take the box car out first, because then that'll press downward. I think. Yeah. Let me see if I can wiggle this entire thing out. I think it might be taped on the sides. Oh, is it? Like to this front. Oh, oh we're no, good. Never mind. All right. Oh, out she comes. So let's first. Can we push it through from the back? Or? Oh, there should be two finger holes, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna just slide it out like that. All right. That is in beautiful condition. Yeah. Here, let's compare the brand new one to this slightly used one. So there you go. That's an older iteration. Are there two figures in here as well? Yeah. Yes, there are. So it looks like the only difference visual rise is the packing itself. That's my so. tax stone. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna set that aside for now. Let's take a look at what else Tyco generously gives us. Oh, so. Dan says they were all green. Oh, they were all green. Well, I stand corrected. All right, so let's get out our base plate right now. So there you go. There's your base plate. There's your very satisfying push-button click controller. Yeah, that is, that, those things are surprisingly satisfying. <laughs> That's very true, yeah. So there you go. And then we have our two power leads Special right here. Leads, yeah. Yep. So... Will's exactly is perfectly right. Doesn't look like these have ever been flayed. So looks like we got a good one. Yep. Time to break. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Are we gonna use this power pack right here? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so next clip that you guys will see will be this thing operation and some of my tips or things that I've found and things that Will's found on how to operate these guys correctly. So I'll see you guys then. Alright, and just like that, we are back. Uh no later in the day. Unfortunately Will had to go. But here it is. So this is all set up as per the Tyco instructions. So I haven't actually cut any of the wire out to extend it or anything like that. This track right here is temporary. I just set it up to test this thing. 
And you may be wondering, first of all, why there's a trailer in front of the uh, back of the stock pen, if you will. Um, that's because this thing shoots quite far. Uh, if this was not there, I would have barrels probably on the carpet and I would never find them again. Uh, it's quite impressive how this thing works. So uh, before I ramble on a little bit more, let's actually see it in action. Simply gonna hit the button. And there you go. Let's have a closer look, shall we? Okay, so you may be wondering how this works. Uh, it's actually very simple, and the solution that Tyco did to have a plastic man eject milk carts at supersonic speeds is actually very clever. So you may notice uh, there's these two little pins right here on the side of our Burlington box car. And what these do is that they contact some brass strip contacts that are placed on the inside of the platform right there and there. Those contacts are uh, current. So basically what happens is that when the, I don't have track power on right now, when we move our engine in like this, these contacts hit our little brass wiper strip. I apologize if you can't see that. And then that completes the circuit. So when you hit the button, don't have any of them loaded, but you can hear and you can even see the guy shooting, well, now there's no little crates in there. Usually there should be. Uh, the way that Tyco decided that we should load these is just through a little hatch on the roof like this. And it's simply gravity fed down. Uh, sometimes, on occasion, this jam. Uh, some of these crates have a little bit of flashing. I'm not sure if you can see that on the edge of them. So that sometimes clogs them up. That rarely ever happens. The most common issue I've had with them is that the contacts are dirty or the little pins on the car don't make good contact. So when you hit the button, nothing happens. Uh, speaking of the button, I kind of wish that they gave you more wire to work with. I mean, it's not a big deal. Like, when I find a place for this permanently, I'll just end up adding more to this guy and have the button somewhere over by the transformer instead of here. But having a little bit more wire would give, you know, the user a little bit more flexibility. All in all, though, I will say I'm very impressed with this. I had little to no expectations going into this. Uh, I heard things about these unloading box cars. I know that a couple of people have used them, but I've never used one for myself. So this is definitely an interesting experience. I'd say it's worth the 10 bucks, and it works pretty well. So hopefully in the future you'll be seeing this as a permanent fixture on the layout. But for now, enjoy a couple more clips of a plastic man shooting milk carts at hypersonic speeds.